Hello my techie savvy friends, Sebastián Noguera is here just to show you another episode of this HTML course regarding how to create your own web pages in an easy and fast way. In this episode we're going to be focused on images, how to insert those as elements inside a container and how to insert those as backgrounds as well. Plus, during this short tutorial, I'm going to give you some expert tips regarding how to apply some styles in the elements in order to make your web pages suitable for particular audiences. As we did in previous videos, we'll keep using CodePen.io as our free HTML platform to insert content. So, in this episode, we will learn how to insert images from external sources from our computer plus how to edit these elements in terms of position and style to make this type of objects look better. So, with nothing else to add, get ready to be amazed and here we go! Well, we're ready to begin. Uh, we're gonna use the same document we were working in previous sessions. So, I'm just going to show you two easy and quick ways you guys will insert pictures using CodePen.io. Since we're using a free CodePen.io version, we'll not be able to insert elements by creating images folders or videos folders or any other type of media content. In this case, we're going to use external sources such as Google Images or images that we have in our computer with a quick and short method. How to insert pictures from Google Images. The first thing we're gonna do is to click on New tab and since our homepage is focused on hairstyling, I'm just gonna find an interesting logo for my web page. So I'm gonna type hairstyle logo and I'm gonna check for some pictures. Once I checked for some of these pictures, um, I'm interested in this one. So, that looks pretty cool. And for the record, every time you check pictures on Google, please focus on the image or picture resolution. In this case, this image is at 800 by 600 pixels. So, that's a good and standard resolution for including a logo. Second, another tip, once you check the resolution, it's important to point out that if you want to check the image in the standard size or full size, you must right click on the picture and click this option, open image in new tab. Once you click on open image in new tab, you will see the real image direct link. So, this is the link we need for inserting pictures inside CodePen.io documents. Once I have this done, I'm just going to copy this or right-click, copy this link, and here inside CodePen.io, I'm just going to focus on a container. I'm just going to use the first container that I have empty with, without objects, and I'm just going to select this commentary and I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to insert an image using this markup tag img plus the src attribute followed by equal and quotation marks and I'm going to paste with control V the direct link once I close my angle bracket I'm going to click save all and run and voila now I have my picture ready, but this picture is quite big. So let's add some extra attributes to shrink this image a little bit. So let's add some height attribute. So let's reduce the size. Remember that this is an 800 by 600 pixels size. So let's try with 200. Let's try with 200, save all and run again. And we have a suitable size for a logo. Basically, using just the height attribute, 
we reduce the picture to a suitable size. We don't need the width attribute because in HTML, once we adjust one of the measures, we don't need the other one because all images maintain the proper aspect ratio. However, we're gonna use some styles to make this logo looks better. If we zoom in the picture just a little bit, you guys can notice that this picture contains some um, fancy elements or as we used to call here in HTML, some base style. These styles are some border, some padding, and a tiny border radius. So, as I told you at the beginning of the tutorial, I'm just gonna give you some expert tips to use styles to make your pictures look better. If we check the style CSS document we created in the last episode, you guys will identify that in line 9 we have a section dedicated only for images. You guys will see that we have borders, border radius and padding as well. So what if we manipulate these elements to make my picture looks better? In fact, we can do it. So first, if we increase the border value, for example, we use four instead of one and save all and run you guys will see a tiny change in our picture plus if i manipulate the border radius and i increase the border up to 20 pixels and i save all again you guys will see that now the image acquired some rounded rectangle shape now let's talk about position if we want to place our image in the center, top, bottom, middle, we will use some extra attributes that we're going to place right in the first row markup tag. In previous sessions, we used the BG color attribute to add a different color to the first row. Now, we're gonna use another set of attributes. The first attribute will be via line equal quotation marks, we're gonna set the middle value and we're gonna use another attribute called align. V align stands for vertical align and align is the horizontal alignment. So in here, we're gonna use the center value, save all and run, and now our picture is ready, right in the middle and in a suitable position. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is method one. Now you know how to insert pictures from external sources here in CodePen.io. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hey, hey, wait a sec. If you want to keep up the good work, you can keep watching the video for more expert tips and some other methods regarding how to add some fresh and good look to your web page creations. If you want to stop by because this was exactly what you needed, I hope to see you again on the next lesson. On the other hand, if you want to keep improving your skills, hang in there, stay tuned and let's check the next video section. But wait, there's more. Hey, 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 kept you waiting, huh? Thank you so much for stay tuned into this second section of this tutorial regarding how to manipulate, insert and play with pictures here in CodePen.io. In this second section, I'm going to show you how to use another external source for our pictures. Sometimes you have pictures stored in your computer's hard disk drive. So here's the question. How can I insert pictures into CodePen.io if I can't get those pictures from Google Images? I'm gonna show you how to do it in this second method of how to insert pictures in CodePen.io. So first things first, we must have some pictures stored in our computer. Second, we're gonna open a new browser tab and in this opportunity, we're gonna type 
the following web page URL post image dot org post image dot org it turns out that post image dot org is a free host for every single image type you want to post online for free so the only thing we need to do is click in shows images then check the folder that I need in this case my folder is in here 8th grade final project pictures and I'm gonna select this first banner for my project web page so once I click on banner we must wait and here we have several links based on our needs remember that in method 1 we needed a direct link so in this set of links we're gonna copy the second link source by clicking on this button once I click on this button the only thing we need to do is to go back and select a new space for this new picture in this opportunity I'm gonna use the second row this empty row because it's quite big for the banner picture I'm just going to delete the comment and as you guys know I'm just gonna start typing IMG followed by SRC equal in quotation marks and I'm just gonna paste by hitting Ctrl V the new picture I'm just gonna close the angle bracket I'm just gonna click save all and run and let's check the result and now we have another pic hey wait a sec okay as a matter of fact that now we have a picture but this picture has the same style attributes and configuration from the picture that we use on method one so here's another question what can I do to customize styles for individual elements and the answer is quite simple if you want to set up own styles to every single element you have inside your web pages after the image source attribute or value you place in the syntax we can add a new attribute label style followed by equal and quotation marks you can add several style values based on your needs so for this image we don't need the rounded shaped style we place in the logo part so in this opportunity I'm just gonna type border radius and I'm gonna add colon and I'm just gonna type the value in this case one pixel followed by semicolon and I'm gonna adjust the height and the width of my picture to fit in the whole container so I can use the height followed by colon and I'm just going to adjust the value up to 400 pixels semicolon and then the width followed by colon and the table width is 1200 pixels once I'm done so I'm just going to click and save all and run and let's check the change now as you guys can see I place the whole picture in the container by adjusting the border radius height and width as well and that's all for now my techie savvy boys and girls so one more thing if you just want to check how your project looks like into a real web browser not inside codepen.io don't forget that the only thing you need to do is to click on this expert button located at the right bottom corner of codepen.io user interface and once you click here you must wait until your project.zip is ready to be downloaded just click on the green button and we got it drop up let's show this on folder so here it is right click let's extract this project 
into the folder and let's check the expected outcome. So once and click here in home, okay, the project looks nice so far and that is on ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next lesson. We're going to learn how to insert videos and how to add some final touches to this cool HTML project. See you soon. Stay cool.